in last 50 years, innovation has been managed very differently. Uh, at the beginning of the 50s, uh, R&D departments were usually quite isolated from the rest of the company. Uh, they were tasked to develop new technologies, and these new technologies uh, were then pushed to the market. In second uh, generation, R&D be became much more business-led, much more part of the entire business, but also much more focused on, uh, on perceived needs of the users and, and, and customers. From a management point of view, R&D at that time was pretty much run as a project management focus on cost efficiency and milestones. In third generation of R&D management, these project management tools have been accompanied with more sophisticated uh, financial tools. Uh, companies started to use portfolio management techniques looking at the different R&D projects. Uh, and these portfolio management techniques and risk techniques enable them uh, to be more precise in their investment decision in different R&D projects. In fourth generation of R&D management, we, uh, we see R&D being much more integrated into the, into the company, much more engaged with other, uh, other business function. Uh, members of R&D teams uh, are increasingly involved in cross-disciplinary uh, cross-functional projects uh, in the company, but they also collaborate and engage much closely with the customers and, and, and with suppliers, and hence the, the challenges for innovation management uh, became uh, more pronounced. If we look at the innovation management now, innovation management is much more uh, of system integrators, when R&D is now part of the bigger innovation initiatives, and especially, uh, especially related to collaboration. Uh, members of R&D are now engaging with, uh, not only with customers, not only with other parts of the business, not only with suppliers, but also with universities where they scan for new technology, they search for new technology, they also work uh, if we talk about big established companies, they also work with small entrepreneurial companies and at the end of the day, they also engage, in, uh, engage with, with governments in order to shape the, the research policy. Uh, we already see and we will see even more how the complexity of innovation increases, especially because innovation today uh, has to tackle grand social challenges like sustainability, uh, energy, health, power, poverty, and all these things will bring in in the innovation process other constituencies like I already mentioned government but also NGOs and other organized public uh, and this is what will create new challenges to manage innovation processes for the companies that are at center of innovation activities.